I made this tie-dye shirt like my junior year of high school and the colors are still popping. <gasps> Kelly, you're gonna hang out? Duh. Cool. Smoke weed every day. What up, buds? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so glad y'all could make it today. Callie's gonna distract the fuck out of me. She's been like super lovey. Like she's usually a pretty lovey cat, but she's just been a little extra lately. Like she's literally laying in my lap right now and it's precious, but I don't know where all the love's coming from. Anyways, today we're gonna be trying out some new products from Delta Munchies. They sent over some of their new double doinks that they just came out with. Callie, we can't be swinging that tail around this whole time. They sent over some new double doinks that they just came out with, some new flavors. We got some sativa double doinks in strawberry jam, some hybrid ones in glazed donut. That sounds fucking bomb. Like Krispy Kreme. More hybrid ones in lemon cherry gelato. That sounds fucking bomb. And these double doinks are THCA diamond infused pre-rolls. They're glazed with liquid diamonds. So there's literally like little diamonds like on the top of the pre-rolls. And they're also coated with Keith. So these pre-rolls are fucking insane. Delta Munchies offers 100% legal weed that you can get delivered straight to your door so you don't have to worry about going to a dispensary or anything like that if they're not offered in your state because I know that's an issue for some of you. Hopefully that won't be an issue forever, but Delta Munchies is hooking y'all up in the meantime. So which ones should we try out first? I want to try them all out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that right now. Maybe gonna have to do a couple of different sessions or something in one video. I don't know how I want to film this, but I definitely want to try all of them. I think I'm gonna start off with the strawberry jam sativa one first. Kind of early in the day and this kind of gives me like breakfast vibes, the strawberry jam. I want to try to show you guys the diamonds that are on the pre-roll too. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but each pack of pre-rolls comes with two 1.5 gram pre-rolls. So you don't just get one pre-roll in each pack, you get two in there 1.5 grams <laughs> the little containers that they come in actually say delta munchies on them too let's pop this baby open <sighs> best sound when you're smoking a pre-roll oh my god <laughs> this pre-roll looks fucking crazy holy crap there's literally so much fucking keef wrapped around this and you can actually see like the little crystals on top it almost looks like sugar <laughs> that's fucking insane Oh my god, and it actually smells like strawberries. It's actually reminding me of like strawberry shortcake. Like strawberry shortcake. Oh my god, this smells so good. I bet it's gonna taste just as good too. Alright, well let's try out this new Delta Munchies double doink in the flavor strawberry jam. This is probably gonna be so bomb. Cheers! I was a little worried it was gonna catch on fire because of all the diamonds and keef and everything, but that lit up pretty well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, <laughs> what the fuck? She is burning. And I don't know if you guys can see like all of the diamonds and shit burning, but it's all like melty. <laughs> it tastes pretty good too. I wouldn't say the flavor is super duper strong, a strawberry, like the smell, but it's in there. I'm lacking this. This is gonna give me the most perfect high to clean my room too. I wanna declutter my room a little bit because she is getting too crowded. I'm just running out of space. I definitely wanna start doing some giveaways soon. So if y'all would be interested in that, let me know. I'm sure you would be.
mentioned giveaways in my last video though and nobody said anything so i don't know i don't know unless you guys tell me i don't want to assume the things i'm liking this i love the delta munchies double drinks my boyfriend and i actually went on a walk a couple of weeks ago and we took one with us and found a little spot and smoked it and it was so perfect Especially because once I was done with the walk and got home, I didn't feel like I just wanted to knock out. <laughs> I actually still had energy to do stuff. And I felt stoned, but not like I was gonna knock out. I love how hard they go on these pre-rolls too. Like wrapping it all up and keeping everything. It just makes it feel hardcore. Oh my god, speaking of strawberries, I actually bought like six cups of strawberries yesterday. Well, actually, I don't know if they were actually cups. I went to a local strawberry field and bought like a flat of them. I just have a shit ton of strawberries now. I think I'm gonna have to freeze some and like use them for smoothies or something because there's no way I can eat all of them before they go bad. Like, it's a lot of fucking strawberries. Is my blush like not blended right there? Or is it just me? Huh. I've been smoking on this for like six minutes and I've barely even made a dent. I've literally just like smoked to the top. I don't know if I can smoke the whole thing. <coughs> I feel like with each hit that I take, it's just not getting any shorter. Like, I'm sure it is, but not by a whole lot. This thing's just gonna last me forever. Forever and ever. I was gonna smoke outside, but my neighbors have a bunch of construction going on and I just know it would have been really loud and annoying. So I settled for in front of my window. So it still kind of feels like I'm getting the outdoor vibes without going outdoors. Ooh, it also looks kind of windy outside. This tree outside my window is shaking like crazy. All right, I think I might have to tap out on this soon. I'm getting hot. I'm getting a little sweaty. What's up with that? Oh, I kind of have to sneeze. Does smoke going through your nose make you have to sneeze? Because it makes me have to sneeze. I don't know how people can do like tricks like through their nose and shit i'd just be sneezing like crazy like the one where you like have it go through your nose <laughs> ew that face was not cute i don't think i could do that i've tried i'm sure might have even tried in a video and i just don't remember but oh here i'll actually try right now wait my brain broke on how you're supposed to do that trick. Don't you like collect the smoke and then like, what am I doing with my mouth? It's like, I feel like you have to do that though. <laughs> I'm not gonna try anymore. I feel like I'm literally only halfway done with it. Mm, like not even. I need to take a break on smoke and free roll i'll smoke another one in a little bit do you guys do this trick to make your pre-rolls go out just put them in the thing and let the seal put it out i can't think of the word that's what i do and then you can like open it up and then if there's smoke left you can like get a hit left all right we'll decide which pre-roll to smoke next when it comes to it
All right, it's later at night now and I am feeling like smoking another one of these pre-rolls. I don't know if I wanna smoke the lemon cherry gelato or the glazed donut. I might just say fuck it and try them both out tonight before I go to bed, we'll see. But I think I wanna try the lemon cherry gelato out first. Let's do this one. These both kind of give me dessert vibes. I honestly don't even know if I've ever had real gelato before. I've gotten like the talenty like pints of gelato from the store. I don't know if that's how you say it or if it's even real gelato, but that shit's really good. Oh my god, I low key can already smell them. And again, each of the pre roll packets come with two 1.5 gram pre rolls. I love how they say Delta Munchies too. I don't know if they had that on the doubled wings when I got them previously. That's such a nice touch. Let's smoke this one. Oh my god. I'm gonna give you guys another close up of the Keith and the diamonds on this pre roll. Like, can y'all see how coated this shit is? All right, let's just get into it. Probably not even gonna be able to make a dent in this one, just like the last one. <laughs> These pre rolls burn for a really long time. Cheers! Oh my god, I can literally see like the diamonds wanting to drip off the pre-roll almost. So delicious. This one tastes really good too. I don't feel like the smell is as strong as the strawberry jam one, but it still smells really good and it tastes really good. I feel like the taste is almost stronger on this one than the strawberry jam one, but the smell is less intense. Yummy. These doubled winks are so cool. is getting a little smoky. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys earlier, but I bought four house plants in the past like two days. <laughs> Becoming an addiction, but I'm not upset about it. I'm loving the plant life. The plant mom life. I can't believe how yummy this tastes. It doesn't taste like weed, you know? Like, you know how weed can taste like nasty sometimes? This tastes like sweet, yummy goodness. And I literally feel like I've barely smoked any of it. Basically only the top. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't have a lot to say right now, buds. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the pre-roll. Today is the second day of summer though, which is pretty lit. Yesterday was summer solstice. <coughs> you guys have any fun plans for the summer? Is it warm where you guys live? Cause I feel like I've been seeing some people post on their stories about how it's finally summer, but it's all rainy and stuff where they're at. That's not the case for Washington. It literally turned summer yesterday and the weather got nice because it's been kind of rainy and crappy the past couple weeks not gone and then yesterday it just took a turn i love it that kind of happened last year too i remember on the first day of summer it was actually like finally nice it kind of stayed that way after so hopefully that's the case for this year too Cause I'm sick of the cold and I'm just sick of the bipolar weather. Like I know that's a Washington thing, but if it could just stay sunny 
and warm for just a couple weeks. That'd be great. I just want to get a tan too. Oh my god. I'm so sick of being pale. I just want to get my tan on. Like, who doesn't feel more confident when they got a tan going? I mean, maybe that's just me. I know it's not because I've heard other people say that, but personally, I'm in that boat. I definitely feel more confident when I got a little bit of a tan going on and don't just look like a fucking vampire from Forks, Washington. Somebody actually literally commented on one of my last videos saying that I remind them of a teenager from Forks, Washington, and I didn't know if that was a compliment or not. I mean, I'm not a teenager and I don't live in Forks, Washington, so... <laughs> Did not know what to make out of that. Maybe it was a compliment. <clears throat> I just realized that the top of this incense burner looks a little sus. I have this incense burner sitting on my desk. It's really like cute. There's like this little drawer at the bottom that catches like all the ash and everything. But this top looks a little sus. I usually hang the incense from there upside down and then the ash catches in the little drawer. I don't know if that's how you're actually supposed to burn incense out of here, but that's how I do it. Oh yeah, this one's really good. I think this one might taste yummier than the strawberry jam one, but the strawberry jam one just smelled so fucking good. And like, don't get me wrong, the strawberry jam one tasted really good too, but I feel like this one just tastes a little bit stronger. Maybe I'm just tripping though and I just don't remember what the strawberry jam one tasted like. <laughs> I'm gonna put this baby out though, because there's no way I'm finishing her. And I still want to try out the glazed donut one before I go to bed. See how it's filling up with smoke? And then once it's actually out, you can like... I didn't get anything that time, but sometimes you get a little hit out of it. Ow, it's still hot. Is it still burning? Let's, ow. Let's seal that back up. <laughs> I am going to take off my makeup, I think. Maybe have a little midnight snack. Well, it's not midnight. <laughs> it's only like 10 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, it's only 10 15. Gotta have a little light night snack or something, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I do kind of have the munchies after that pre roll. <laughs> and then I think we'll smoke on this glazed donut pre roll before we hit the hair. I would bring you guys along for the makeup removal and the munchies, but I literally just did like a little stoner nighttime routine video in my last video. So you guys wanna see all that. We'll give it a couple weeks till I show that again. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kinda. <laughs> all right, burp. Oh my god. If y'all own cats, then you probably get the struggle. But my cats are a little, like, fucking Houdini magician motherfuckers. Like, they are so fucking good at hiding. It stresses me out because it makes me think that they've gotten outside somehow. Because my cats are not outdoor cats, they're indoor cats. And sometimes they do hang out on the porch, like as you guys have seen in my videos. But it's not, like, ground level. Like, it's elevated. So we don't really have to worry about them running away or anything but you never know cats can get a little frisky and maybe they'll just want to hop off and explore someday Pino actually did do that one time he literally hopped off the deck and decided to go exploring for the night luckily he was fine but we can't have that happening and I haven't been able to find Gino for the past like half an hour. I've been looking for him and I have no idea where he is, but I guarantee he's just gonna pop out out of nowhere. Cause I literally had this issue with Callie like two days ago. I thought she hopped off the back deck, looked all over the place for her. And then she just came walking out of nowhere. I was like, oh cool. Thanks for fucking with me for no reason. So yeah, I'm sure he's fine. He's somewhere, I'm sure. It's just really annoying that they do this. Why do they gotta hide? It's even more annoying when I look literally everywhere. Well, I feel like I look everywhere. And then they just randomly walk out from, like, wherever. It's like, where were you? Anyways, we're gonna try out this glazed donut double blink. Which one do I wanna smoke? go with this one. I'm gonna be so ready to go to bed after this. Just like all the other ones, this baby is coated up.
shares. Of course, on the last one, it catches on fire a little bit. Just because it's so fucking coated. Jeez. This baby is ripping. I'd say out of all three, this flavor is probably the least, like, the flavorful. Is that what I'm trying to say? And it doesn't smell super strong either, but it's still hitting. I personally feel like I'm just not tasting the flavor as much as the strawberry jam and the lemon cherry gelato. I feel like those ones are pretty potent. And this one has a little bit of a taste to it. It's just not as potent as the other two, I feel like. Glazed donut though, that really makes me want to get some Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme glazed donuts are something else. Oh my god, they're so fucking good. I feel like these would be so good to smoke in a group or just like with a homie or something like that because they burn really slow, at least to me. Maybe it's just because I'm smoking it by myself. I don't know, but I feel like if you had somebody else to smoke it with, it'd go by a little faster because <laughs> y'all have seen, I haven't been able to finish any of these and I've been puffing away. It's not like I take like three puffs and say bye. I take like 20 and don't even make a dent, but it's still ripping. Like what? Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch Madagascar to go to bed tonight. That's the vibe. These are really smoky too. I feel like these would be good for a hot box. I'm gonna have to tap out soon and go to bed. I'm getting... I don't even know what word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, and I had a PB&J as my late night snack. And that's what I settled on. But I left the bread open earlier on accident and it's like, unusually moist it's probably gonna get all moldy fuck my bad <laughs> first the yogurt now my bread what next I'm gonna tap out. I'm gonna tap out. Let's see how far I made it this time. Oh, that's like almost half. Good for me. Well, thank you so much to Delta Munchies for sponsoring this video and for sending over y'all's new double doink flavors. I highly recommend you guys go check them out. I think my favorite is probably, I don't know, it's hard because the lemon cherry gelato tasted so good, but then the strawberry jam smelled fucking delicious. They all hit the fucking same though. Fucking great you guys can also use my code green 20 for 20 percent off your order so yeah let me know if you guys cop any of these new double doing flavors let me know which one is your favorite i'm gonna go though it's my bedtime i hope you guys enjoy this video stay safe make good choices cherish your loved ones and i'll see y'all in the next one bye beds. smoke weed every day